What is up, peeps? It's Tidu TV HD here. Let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And uh, today we're just going to be opening some packs. And uh, if we do have time, we will also play a game of Pokemon Drilling Card Game Online. We'll play on the versus ladder. Um, I do want to do a tournament, but right now, at the current time of day, uh, not many people are online. So it's going to take very long to get into a tournament. So I'll open some packs. I've got a lot of Burning Shadows because I want to get Necrozma. So we'll do that last. I really want to hit Necrozma because I want to make a Malamana Necrozma deck. Uh, and that'd be pretty cool. Or if we get an Ultra Necrozma for Vidin Light, that will also be pretty darn neat. Um, so this is something we're going to be looking for here. Uh, oh, we got Trevenant. I know this Trevenant is actually pretty decent. Uh, bear me two seconds here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to change the volume. Because I've realised I haven't got the volume on on the actual game here. So let's get that there. Open another. There we go. So I've got the volume up now so you guys can actually hear the game. Uh, that wasn't a great pack, but that Trevenant is quite nice. So I would love to try it out myself. Uh, Guja, again, not fantastic. Uh, of course, we're looking for Tapu Lele in this one here. Um, of course, I want to let you guys know that I am live streaming. Oh, pause it. I am live streaming a lot more often. Um, you can see on the top left of the screen right now my Twitch URL, which is twitch.tv forward slash real FTWTVHD. If you want to go there and give me a follow, that would be fantastic. Um, I have little pop-ups and stuff when you follow on my stream now. Um, I've allowed donations if you guys do want to donate. It's there for you um, if you do want to support the channel. But other than that, of course, no one's forcing you. I'm just letting you know that I do stream now a lot more on Twitch. So if you want to watch me play... Ooh, Malamar! So if you want to watch me play live, do some deck testing for videos that will be out on this channel, do go to my Twitch uh, channel and give me a follow. Oh, we've got Magnezone as well. So we get some decent pulls, but no GXs yet. So hopefully we get the big boys in these uh, um, Burning Shadow packs. That's, that's where you want it to be. Let me turn it down a little bit. It might have been too loud for you. Okay, nothing fantastic. Again, nothing great. Just some bog standard stuff, really. This is quite poor. It's quite really bad, actually. Um, let's have a look. Come on, just give me. I just, I just want a Necrozma GX. No, not a Weavile. <laughs> I want a Necrozma. Please, 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 please. Come on. Hit me with something. Hit me with something. Oh my god, this is the worst pack opening pack I've ever done in my life. This is just awkward. Oh my god, what's going on? What is this? I feel betrayed. <laughs> oh, I feel heartbroken. We're just getting absolutely. No oh my god. Oh, we have two left. We have two left. And this has appeared to be the worst pack opening I've seen in my life. Oh, just... just oh. <sighs> hey, you could do this in a Magnezone deck. We can try it out one day, but no! Where is my Necrozmas? Please, give me something. Oh my god. We opened, I think that was 13 packs. We got zero GXs. Because of that, we're going to jump into a game. And uh, have a bit of fun here. Let's do... what. What should we play? Let's play... Let's play Igor Costa's Buzzrock list. This is the Buzzrock list that just won. The... Um, is it the Wisconsin Regional? I forgot what... Yeah, it's, 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 it's in Wisconsin. But it's the most recent regional championship uh, in the standard format. And this list is the one that won. It plays three baby Buzzwalls and two Buzzwall GXs. Um, it's a pretty unique list, and it can't believe it won a tournament. So, showing off how crazy baby Buzzwall is. So, let's get into a game of this deck and uh, see how it works. So, let me know about. Uh, let me tell you more about what I do on my Twitch. When I when I stream Pokemon on my Twitch, I do deck lists that include statistics um, of the deck that I'm I'm I'm, I'm testing. And then I would make, I'd collect that into a video that I would upload to YouTube, kind of giving my opinion on the deck after playing a certain amount of games. So while this person decides to choose, I'll just jump into the stats and show you quickly here. This is what, we, what we've currently got on a Rampardos deck that I'm making a video on. So we have to go first to 20 games, we get the statistics up. So if you want to see that all on stream, um, of course, do give me a follow and again, it'll pop up. You'll be notified whenever I do stream. So if you don't want to be there as I do test out decks, uh, now you know. Now you know I'm doing that. So, um... We look like we're playing against a Cosmo deck, which makes me very jealous. Because uh I want to have one. I only have one Ultra Necrozma, you see. I have Dawnwings Necrozma. 
I have Mewtwo GX, so I have made like a Malamar Mewtwo deck, but I haven't. I, I, you can't make a Malamar Ultra Cosma deck or a Malamar Cosma deck with only one Ultra Cosma. So I really want to get some Cosmas. You know, I know you can get the tins, but when I, when I last checked on Amazon, the tins were expensive because I don't think they're being printed anymore. So they're going to be uh, more expensive than the usual tin. I don't really want to spend about £50 on a £20 tin just for the Necrozma. I'd rather get the packs or, in real life, purchase them individually, you know? Now, I know I could get the codes. So I'm, I'm contemplating getting the codes for the actual uh, tins. Because I know you can get those codes online. Um, let's go... F let's, I mean, we only, we only play, this, this list only plays the wrong Rockruff. We don't even have it. So uh, we'll start focusing on... Yeah, let's focus on our draw before ma damage modification. We need to be very careful about benching here, honestly, because we're playing a Empoleon deck. Empoleon's looking pretty decent, actually, in this current format. Yeah, it's weak to Buzzrock, I know that. But it's um, being able to just one-shot. I mean, basically, the reason why I think it can do good is because you have captivating, uh, captivating Poker Puff, right? Now, we're in a format where it's dominated by basic big GX Pokemon, right? So you've got Ultra Necrozma, you've got Buzzwall, you've got Lapras. Um, all these big GX Pokemon, they're all basic. So there's a lot of chance, a lot of times where you'll actually play a Captivating uh, Pokepuff and actually force them to bench Pokemon they don't want to bench, like a Lele or a Buzzwall. Or, you know, you force them to bench things. Uh, let's do that. We're going to, unfortunately, we're going to... Uh, yes. Yeah, uh... Do we Lele? Screw it, let's Lele. I was thinking about playing uh, Guzma, but no, no, no. Let's... Let's hold on to our beast rings and stuff. Uh, don't stick them all. Just drop a Cynthia. Just get some more draw going. We don't want to drop the buzzword yet. That's for beast ring. Um, okay, that's kind of good news. We can hit a max elixir the next turn if we do get knocked out or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, screw that. We're just going to... There we are. We're going to just pass because we can't attack. So, Captivating Pokepuff is great because you thought, like, there's a lot of times where you actually will make them bench. Like, I remember playing against a deck where I forced them to bench three basic Pokemon um, from their hand. And that immediately buffs Empoleon's damage. So, Empoleon's going to be knocking this out. It's a shame. Uh, if we do manage to get Brooklet Hill out, which is weird. I don't know why this deck isn't dropping a Brooklet Hill. I thought they would have loved my Brooklet Hill, but instead they decided to Field Blower. Um, get rid of it. Right, this is awkward, but what I'm going to do is get rid of choice bands because we don't need them. I'm actually... Uh, we've got Sycamore, so I want to get another baby Buzzwell because we currently have this to worry about. But it's just not not out here. Okay, so let's... Let's see. Uh, I don't want them to take out this thing because then they would bypass this. Uh, okay. Okay, let's hope we hit a Max Elixir. Yeah? Okay, we hit Max Elixir. We hit a Brooklet. Now, I don't think we're doing the desired damage unless we hit our, our number, uh, hit our heads, I think. Let's get Diancy out so at least we can have some damage modification. Uh, so we're hitting 100, which is too little. We need to hit some heads. Next turn, if we get knocked out, Beast Ring's activated. We can try and get the ball rolling there. Right, sing around. Come on. Take some heads, please. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Uh, awkward thing is we don't have any rock crafts or anything like that. They, they're, they're prepping this thing. It's just, oh, it's all over the place. Now, I don't think this thing takes jet bench damage either. I don't know. I don't know if Jet Punch affects it. Okay, that's a good sign. Because we can knock this out now with Jet Punch, right? We could actually take two prizes here. I think it's better that we take a Volt Picks away. So they don't get another one of these out. Yeah, let's just. Oh, I don't know if this deck, play, this deck plays Rescue Stretcher. Let's check, actually. We can check, can't we? Uh, it plays Super oh, Sweet. We're going to get this out. We just need damage. We need damage. We need damage right away. Uh, and it thins our deck so we can draw into stuff we need more. We need Super Rod. Ah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that, but let's get the knockout. Sweet. 
absolutely sweet. So we've got two prizes there. We've got the Rock Craft, which is fantastic because we can now work on a Dangerous Rogue GX. Uh, we do need to get our Buzzwall. So hopefully, because we have one more in, 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 in deck, so there's obviously in the prize card. Let's see if we hit it. We hit it. Ah, oh. Oh, that is fantastic. I know I'm, I'm giving myself a round of applause, but we will actually be able to knock this thing out if we find a Floatstone or a Guzma. So, that's wonderful. I assume they're going to retreat this anyway, so. The 60 HP one, this is 20 damage. To yeah, why didn't they get the 70 HP one? That one's a bit. Well, they do, they have both, okay. 70 HP always, always, always trumps 60 HP. Even if the attack on the 70 HP one is decent, compared to the one on these, uh, sorry, other way around. If the attack on the 60 HP is better than the attack on the 70 HP, still go with 70 HP because this thing will absolutely punish you for having 60 HP. It will absolutely punish you. Okay, so we can't Abyssal Hand because we can't forcefully discard this thing unless through the use of Sycamore. Okay. Now, I actually think we have to hit Sycamore here. I... Oh. Okay, they quit. <laughs> Alright, I didn't... I didn't realise we were that close to winning. Ah. Hey, we got some stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. That was a bit of a weird video. I know I was... Open packs got naffle. Uh, played a game and pretty much only played half of it because they decided to just quit. While they were ahead. That was very weird. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. As I said, do check out my Twitch channel if you do want to see me stream. Um, and of course, like and subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon content. And to add on top, I have a second channel which I'll be uploading CSGO content onto. So if you like my CSGO stuff, then that will be there. So just go and uh, check the second channel as well. Other than that, I'll leave you to it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate you. And peace.